I hear it's your first Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's what I heard. What are you gonna eat? Are you a little turkey? Good morning. Good morning. Happy uh, Black Friday. This is a morning review again. Morning review. Again, please bear with me. Bearing. But I'm reviewing some uh, cuisine art. Is that how it's pronounced? Cuisine art? Cuisine art? Cuisine art. I always thought it was cuisine art, but I might be wrong. I'm reviewing these uh, salt and pepper grinders. They're electric. And I thought it was kind of a, an awesome concept. Um, pepper mill that you don't have to manually just crank on. I think we've owned at least two pepper mills, and they always seem to just lose their um, their bite. You know, it's like mm -hmm. it takes forever to get what you need out of them. So we end up just not using them anymore. These look great, um, and they come with a mounting charging pad that you just set on your counter and plug in, and they tr just charge every, every time you use them. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're stainless steel, they have a nice, heavy feel, not not heavy, but like a substantial weight feel yeah. to them, like you're really holding on to something. It's just kind of got a little trigger there to, to turn on mm -hmm. the, the grind feature. And so obviously they could just sit out on your table if, right. you know, that's not where you're charging pad. Yeah, they last um, anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes of grind time. They got a nice little light on there and an indicator light that tells you if it's charged or if it's charging. I used these cooking uh, the turkey yesterday and Em used them in cooking the meal and we weren't thinking to do any actual shooting. Um, so we just uh, did a little tester on some leftovers. I ate, ate some slightly saltier than normal leftovers for your benefit. But they worked great. Like on the turkey, this was wonderful because you had one hand free mm -hmm. and I was, you know, applying the, the salt and pepper and rubbing it in with the other hand and moving it around on the turkey kept this hand clean the whole time yeah because it's it's gonna have to be two hands for the grinding Absolutely. stuff on any other kind right yeah i feel like it really does a good job of spitting it out real quick devil's advocate here though how hard is it to just take a traditional salt and pepper shaker and just go Ch -ch -ch, you know right it's not um <laughs> but it's not as cool either and the pepper does not taste as good, in my opinion. You like the fresh ground and, pepper. And the, the salt, you get a little bit more of a texture with it. So it's it's not about ease um, with respect to your standard. Um, mm -hmm. Just shake it out of, the, out of the shaker. It's more about quality and taste there. It's more about ease when you're talking the actual pepper mill where you're manually grinding it. It's got a nice little clear well there so you can see how much product is in there when you're gonna need to refill it. You can see we're already about halfway done with the salt. This would be a great gift for someone who loves to cook because it's not something very many people have, I don't think. He says, go on. More details, please. Entertain me. There's a little light in there that just kind of shines down and shows where, number one, it, it helps show how much it's getting put on. For when you're having those romantic dinners. Right. That are, you know, candle lit. Candle lit and you can't see the see the food to add your spices. Right, you're gonna let a lot of those happen these days, huh? Yeah. The main selling point on this thing is just the cool factor. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really neat to, you know, be doing some cooking and you just grab it and go Turn. Boom, there it comes out. And it is a lot easier too, but it's just it's just awesome. Double fist it and <laughs> boom, there it comes out. <laughs> boom, there it comes out. Boom, there it comes out. You know, there's all those little gimmicky things that you, you buy and you use for a couple of weeks and you put them away. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of that kind of kitcheny stuff. That's this isn't that. You're still gonna use this. Um, I know like, someone who sometimes buys those. Those yeah. gimmicky things. The GT Express <laughs> and things of that hey, nature. Hey, I'm going to start using that again. All right, I'm sure you are. <laughs> you snow cone maker. <laughs> I love the snow cone maker. When was the last time you made a snow cone? Um, I make them all the time. You're just not here. Oh, I'm missing out on the or snow cone. Or maybe I don't, but yeah. anyway. Why did the goose leave the dance floor? Um, I don't know why. He didn't want to get down on it. <laughs> you put two and two together on that, huh? Well, somebody's on the verge of yes. a breakdown, <laughs> and it's guys. not Tyler. <laughs> Me too, maybe. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Have See you later. Bye-bye.